The next section we're going to fill in our pattern is this one right here. And this is also a variation on the satin stitch. This one, um, I don't know if it has a specific name, but I like to call it the tucked satin stitch where you hide some of your stitches underneath um, to get that nice angle. And if you wanted to have maybe your stitches fan out or anything like that, that would be a good way to do this here. So it's slightly different than what we did up here with our magenta where all the stitches were straight up and down and with our light purple here where all of our stitches were kind of like connected with the long and short satin stitch. Um, this one we're going to tuck the edges a little bit. So let's give it a go. So for this one we will start at the bottom corner of one of our, of our section here. And just like the regular satin stitch we're going to make a long straight stitch along the side of our section right here. And then the next one, we're going to come down right at the bottom next to our last stitch. And then we're just going to go slightly shorter than that last stitch we did and tuck our end underneath that stitch there. And then we'll come back down to the bottom again along that same line, just slightly over a little bit so we're right next to that stitch. And then we'll just go straight up to the top again. And back down. And then just slightly tuck that a little bit there. So you can kind of see mine is starting to fill out more at the bottom than, and keeping it still nice and pointy at the top to get this fan shape. And you don't have to do tuck and straight every time. You could do like a couple that are tucked here. And I always make them slightly shorter each time, tucking under the last stitch I make. And then I'll just make like a long straight stitch to fill in that section there. And we'll just slightly fan out this piece a little bit here to give it a little bit of that dimension where it's coming from the corner and then spreading out across this way. And the reason I tuck my stitches are so that the ends don't show when you see the whole section together. Here you just see a long lovely flat stitches all coming from a similar direction. 